That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Mortal Kombat is all about buffs, buffs, and more buffs with the upcoming update for Chaos Reigns or Year 2 from Mortal Kombat 1. NRS is not holding back, man. They are buffing what feels like everything, and I am all here for it. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content, and let's get into this. And let's talk about a lot of the buffs that are coming, or, you know, the ones that we know of so far, coming in Year 2 for Chaos Reigns, the story expansion, all that. Not only are we getting new characters, you know, Sector, Cyrax, Noob, Cybot. We're getting some new stages we'll go over in a minute, but we're also getting a ton of buffs for main characters and cameos, and they look insane. Shout out to Ice Cream over on Twitter for keeping this feed fresh and easy to follow. This first one is actually a Havoc buff, and let's just watch it, and I'll, I'll kind of explain what I'm seeing personally. You, I'm sure you'll see it too, but here's the buff. Super quick, way quicker. A dive kick pop up with armor. Oh, maybe armor, but like it costs a meter. A low pop-up as well. And now this move right here only costs one bar. Yo, massive W, massive buff for Havoc, dude. Okay, again, just to reiterate, this first armored move, that is a lot faster than it used to be. So let's go ahead and first of all assume the fight is in, you know, we're in the middle of a fight. We got three bars. We just used a bar for this first hit, right? A lot faster. That's great. That cost a bar right there. The dive kick, so he has a new aerial special, it seems. It costs a bar, boom, pop up. Okay, so we got a, an aerial pop up. I'm assuming it's gonna be an overhead as well. So we have already used two bars, by the way, so we should only have one bar left. Uh, with that being said, we have a low pop-up as well. So we already got mix. That's good mix We have an overhead pop-up now a low pop-up That's also a uh, side switcher and that is also huge if you're in the corner and then boom one more bar right there to do this move And usually this move uh, costs two bars So now that it only costs one I'm assuming is another buff by itself There has been there have been like four or five different buffs in this clip alone for havoc uh one buff right here new move two that's overhead and mix right here for the three so i'm gonna call, call that three buffs right here right another pop up and then yeah four for the one uh the one bar right here four buffs uh minimum right there for havoc players havoc players you best be happy because your boy here is absolutely getting buffed without question i'm not gonna lie to you guys i never really played havoc a ton but this buff right here might uh make me sit down and try him for a little bit because that looks awesome as you might already know from the trailers we've seen so far uh the cameo sub zero is also getting a buff and this clip right here shows uh more than just one buff check this out baby uh, Garrus go. Oh, and Rain goes in. Garrus punishes Sai. So we saw that move, right? So you, he, the Sub Zero will now freeze you, the player, and act as a counter hit. Where if your opponent touches you, they're frozen, allowing you for a punish essentially there. Now, we thought that was it. Great. Uh, it's going to continue here. Sub Zero freezes you and throws you as the Ice Clone. And uh, the biggest part about that is that it's safe on block. You'll see Garrus block it, but you'll see Rain be fine. Uh, so I'm assuming boom. Yeah, you are positive on block. That is huge. So first of all, that'll close the distance I wonder if you'll have armor as the ice clone meaning like if your opponent Let's say throws a projectile Will you as the ice clone go through that projectile still and hit your opponent and how far is the knockback on hit? Like we see it on block and that's great. But how far is the knockback on hit? We'll have to wait and see but that is also so sub-zero cameo getting two massive buffs like i consider two new moves definitely buffs within themselves so he's gonna be a lot more useful as a cameo not because right now people are mainly only using sub-zero as a cameo to make themselves projectile and vulnerable which let's be honest if you use like motaro you can just reflect them and teleport to get in their face you can use kung lao to teleport in their face you can use chameleon which offers a lot more so people aren't really using sub zero i think adding these two extra moves on top of what he already has you know the shoulder charge the projectile and vulnerability this will make him a lot more viable we can count on our opponent by freezing them that's going to be awesome by baiting out their punishes and freezing them and then closing the distance with uh making ourselves an ice clone and being thrown at them and being safe on block that is uh a huge so so far havoc's getting buffed sub zeros and cameo getting buffed as well both of these are not but they're not small buffs guys these are these are relatively 
quite large buffs. They're not just like one thing. These, these are a couple things per character, per cameo. These are what we call buffs, baby. You thought we were done. Here is the buff that Jack's cameo is getting. I kind of explained it in my previous video, but what you're gonna see here is when you read your opponent calling out their cameo, you can call Jack's, it's a very quick move. He has armor, he'll go through a hit, grab your opponent's cameo and immobilize them so they can't use them, allowing you to go for the punish. So here's how it looks when uh, Tanya goes at Quan Chi. She calls Chameleon, Jax goes in, grabs her and Quan Chi punishes Tanya, all while Jax is going AWOL on Chameleon. So just one more time right here, he, he reads uh, Chameleon, Jax comes out, grabs her, Quan Chi punishes. Again, immobilizing the cameo, so Tanya, I wonder how, like right now, like right now, I wanna see the cameo gauge here, because I wonder, does he also drain the cameo bar to zero? Like if that only used the, you know, the first half, does she at zero now? Like what are the punches actually doing to Chameleon or the cameo gauge besides just immobilizing Chameleon in the moment? Because let's go ahead and be honest, uh, let's say Quan Chi punished this anyways without using Jax, right? Like. She, Tanya couldn't use Chameleon right now, anyways, right? So like, does does like does this matter? Like, does it matter that Jax has Chameleon? Because normally in this combo you can't use Chameleon, so it's got to be some kind of effect after the fact that really matters. If you catch your opponent's cameo with Jax they have to be immobilized for more than just during your punish, right? I don't know why they're not showing the bars. I wish they would, but that is the uh, the big buff there for Jax. We have Havoc, we got Sub-Zero, we got Jax. This isn't really a buff, but we are getting four new stages for the game. One, two, three, four, uh, two on each side, basically. So that's cool, love to see that. Also, I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but the cameos will now have definitions where they have casual or, or other words above them. Uh, what this is doing, this is, this is telling Telling new players uh, the level of easiness the cameo is going to be. So, like for an example, casual uh, might represent how easy Frost is as a cameo, whereas cameos like Chameleon or Janet, uh, maybe even Farah or Shajinko, obviously, might say like uh, a pro or, or hard. So that's not again not really a buff, but uh, more of easiness of use on the UI for the cameo menu. And then for those that didn't see it last time, Sonya as a cameo is also getting a new move. And here's how it might look. So she bounces off. Uh, your character hits the other character hits your opponent and then maybe for another meter bicycles them up to combo extend so i think without using a meter or canceling and using the full cameo gauge she'll just bounce off you and hit the opponent down uh maybe doing some more damage but if you uh cancel into the bicycle kicks that luke kang usually has funny enough uh she will kick your opponent into the air allowing you to combo extend whether it be like an aerial special or in this case for sector uh calling more missiles stuff like that so sonya's getting a new move as a cameo sub zero's getting new moves Jax is getting new moves and they're all buffed by the way havoc's getting buffed and this isn't even all of it chances are we're getting a ton more stuff this is just what we know now i'm not gonna lie to you i'm kind of addicted right now to just using chameleon and farad just because they're, they're so fun, they're so good, they offer a ton. Tremor's been a lot of fun lately too, but I'm not gonna lie. These buffs to cameos are gonna make me try other cameos, and I think that's the point. I, th I think what they're trying to do is bring out that variety that I think they first intended for cameos so that everybody can try different cameos and have a fun time and, and you know, expand upon their kit with different cameos. You know, when, when, when like when cameo like Sub-Zero is only viable for one move, you're not really gonna use it, but when he has three viable moves or more you might be more inclined to use him for a different reason you know punishing and getting in there safe with the ice claw move stuff like that or Jax makes the unblockable pressure and that's really great but now he's even better because now he can punish your opponent for using their cameo and immobilize their cameo and essentially stop them from using them and I'm also glad that characters like Havoc that are usually considered bottom tier are also getting buffs I'm hoping more buffs very similar to this just making them that much better I'm hoping for buffs like this for characters like Shang Tsung and Geras characters that seem to to just be bottom tier no matter who you talk to i want to see buffs for every character and i'm glad the nrs is going that direction rather than trying to nerf all the other things they're buffing everything else and i love that i am in the boat where let's just buff everything why are we nerfing everything let's buff everything make it all the same level and it seems that's what they're doing here and I cannot wait to see what they do for the other characters, for the other cameos. From what we've seen so far, guys, you have to let me know down below who are you gonna use more? Are you, are you gonna change cameos is the first question. You can change cameos.
damage? You, are you changing to Sub Zero or Jax or Sonya? Are you Havoc mains happy out there? Even if you're not a Havoc main, this is pretty cool. Let me know if you're excited for year two for Mortal Kombat 1. Are you excited for Sector, Cyrax, Noob, Cybot, T1000, Conan, Ghostface? Let me know all your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content if you haven't already. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.